What's going on, everybody? Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah, we are live. Very random for me to do. Can you guys hear me all right? What's going on, everybody? Just chilling here. Sounds are good? Okay, good. Yeah, I figured, you know what? It's, uh, what's today? Tuesday. Yo, Tuesday. What up, Camaro Kid? Um, hold on. This chats are going quite fast. Lisa. Hi, Lisa. It's really good to see you, Lisa. It's good to see everybody. Oh, damn. Diver down in the house. Woohoo! So, <clears throat> figured I would do a quick um, update on the tank. Tank looks good. Corals are looking good. Everything is looking good. I really uh, wanted to just show you guys the tank and talk about the fish real quick. But I mainly wanted to go live so you guys could just chat it up. Um, I know a bunch of people really miss the Dave's Nano Tanks Saturday night streams. <clears throat> I actually... <laughs> Radeons killed... Nope. Nope. The Radeons didn't kill him. So what I'm going to do is we're going to look at the tank real quick. I'm going to feed the fish and count them. I did feed them once already today, and there was still six chromis, but as you can tell, if I back up, it looks like there's absolutely no fish in the tank. All right, let's see. Like I said, once they start seeing these flakes or these uh, pieces of brine, let's see if they'll eat. Let's see. There they go. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they're eating good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got all six. Oh, yeah, they're eating good. <clears throat> eating good. See? And then they just go back to hiding. I don't know. Maybe they're just freaked out because there's no other fish in the tank. I do remember that um, when I got the Chromis, I forget if they were kind of like this when I got them. And then I added the Pajama Cardinals because we all know Pajama Cardinals are like, you know, they're just like carefree. They don't care about nothing. And I think once I put them in there, it made all the other fish swim around. This is how they normally act right here. I really wish they would do this again. Hopefully they will soon enough. They do look good. I was actually thinking of, you know what, if the Chromis are, the, uh, are gonna be dominant, I was thinking about throwing like a dozen more in. I don't know yet, I'm not gonna rush it. Uh, I'm not looking at the chats at the moment, so I will be with you guys shortly. Just wanted to show you guys the fish. And then I will get to the chats and chat it up with you guys. I'm not going to be on for too long. I just saw somebody say something about aquatic experience. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to go yet. Um, it's extremely local for me. It's only 40 minutes away. So you would think, hey, go for it. But there's only going to be, I think, maybe three to four coral vendors there. And um, there's nobody really that I could, that I saw coral vendor wise that really, you know, catches my interest of having, you know, stuff that I'm looking for. Close the canopy so it's a little bit better. There we go. 
I'm going to grab a chair and hold the camera here while I chill with you guys. So, yeah, aquatic experience, I don't know. I th I'm thinking about going to a swap in Maryland on Saturday instead. Um, don't know. Don't know. We'll see. I know the snowman's going Saturday. I know a bunch of people are going Saturday, but like I said, it's a freshwater event, really. I went last year. It was okay. Um, you know, if I'm going to go somewhere um, all day, I want to I want to be surrounded by blue lights, really. So, but what's going on, everybody? How is everyone? You guys chatting it up? Uh, Brian, so what happened to the fish? I don't know. I have no idea. You know, the, for one, all the coral in the tank is 100% happy. It is 9 o'clock. Uh, lights are out at 10, so some of them do close down. This, this one torch likes to close down early every night. Um, but, I mean, everything else is extremely happy. All the coral, you know, all the corals that you think would be bothered by this are not. I can say one thing is that my bubblegum digi right here, there hasn't been any polyps on it for like a week. And now all of a sudden it's wide open again. Um, I did catch that coal tang. Uh, you guys remember that big neon green uh, singularia, uh, singularia or whatever it's called that I had. I did catch him eating it. Uh, I don't know. He was eating my softies. I know that, but yeah, the chromies are the wolf pack right now. Here's the same two that I put in my video. Somebody did mention something about clicking. Fish of Hex? Fish of Hex ain't here. Stop lying. No way. I know he's not here. He's out in the woods right now. He's out in the trees. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Anyway. Coral are doing good. Bob's loving life. That A-can right back there. He's a little temperamental. That's a new one. That's a new one. But. Yeah. I mean, these, these chromies have been in my tank for quite a while. Never had any issues with them whatsoever. But something's up. Somebody did mention something about listening for a clicking noise and I have been hearing a weird clicking noise lately and I thought it was in the corner over here I have a little glass thermometer suction cup to the glass and usually when I hear that clicking noise it means that that little thing came loose and it's floating around the tank and bouncing off the glass but it wasn't that somebody said something like they bite their teeth or something or they snap or something I don't know what but I do hear a weird noise sometimes and I always look in my sump area and I don't see anything Yeah, flash and kegs. Yeah, yeah. Look at there to go. Look, these two will be here. Where's the third one? There's usually a third one that comes out and checks up on them. There it is. There it is. See? Look. That's the biggest one too. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I keep look they are always in this corner and I keep going to this far right side of the tank and looking down to see if I can see eggs or anything. But I don't see anything. There's a little cool blue blue toadstool I put on the side over here. It's doing well. If anybody is going to the um, swap in Maryland this weekend, let me know. I got a bunch of awesome green frags of Dave's. GSP. Now you might think this is just regular GSP, but this is the long neon green GSP with no colored polyps. There's no like white little polyps on them or the green ones. These are just straight green. I'm actually going to be putting these on the um, back of the glass. I'm going to say I'm going to just go for it. Oh, you know what? I saw something cool. Murph, Carlos, anybody that's really into SP, can I zoom in? No, I guess I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. 
See the tips on that right there? I'm, I'm assuming that's growth. Straight reefer, what up? Here's this thing. You guys know this is my favorite. Yeah. I, I, it's weird how they've been hiding because there's no fish in the tank now. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to uh, at least wait a month before I add anything else for sure. Yeah, I know they're... I know the seahorse whisper. She does something. That's like a one-on-one, -on -one, though. I, I don't. I don't know. I haven't seen it, but I don't know if that's like a, where you can get a bunch of people in there. There's the the Ghani garden I got going on. I did glue everything down. There's nothing on the glass anymore. I took it all off. But if you guys don't mind hanging out in the chats and talking amongst each other. I can do this more often if you want. Totally up to you guys. Totally up to you guys. You guys might have remembered the SPS video I talked about this orange Satosa. It was in the back there, and I did end up moving it up. Let's see if maybe you guys can get a good view of it right now. It's a little blurry, but lots of polyps on that little thing there. I don't know how to uh, unzoom now. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Let's see. I guess while I'm zoomed in, here's the the blue zing. And then we'll go over here real quick. Bubble gum's looking good. Everything's happy. There's that really cool yellow softy. Tons of babies on the fireworks cloves. There's the Tyree looking good. Here's the Murphy's Aquatics sun kissed. Corals are all 100% happy. That is for sure. Now let me see if I can unzoom here. I don't know what happened, but it won't let me. Oh, there we go. Ooh. So, yeah, what's going on? Let me, uh, I can't really see the chats because my gel clip is kind of in the way. So I can't really see you guys, but anyway, uh, yeah, there's the Maryland swap this weekend and there's aquatic experience, but like I said, nah, uh, aquatic experience would be more of just like a hanging out, walking around, you know, shooting a shit kind of deal. So Olivia gave me the go ahead and she said, go to either show. I don't care. So I uh, might as well go to the one. But it's a little bit of a drive. It's three hours and ten minutes one way, but um, I guess it's all salt water. So yo, Tristan, what up, bro? Hope everything's doing. I haven't talked to you in forever, man. Hope everything's doing well with the business. Let me see something here. 74 people watching. Go check out TRSC Aquatics. I did a video on coral that they sent me. And they got some nice colorful stuff. 
Hope you guys are doing well. One day I will meet you guys. One day. I do plan on going to the Reef Smart swap. Whenever that is, I missed it last year, but whenever Reef Smart is, I will 1000% be there. I will take off of work. I will take a few days off to make sure that I get down there. I want to go meet a couple people that I've never met before. So maybe Olivia can go with me. We we shall see. <laughs> I see her popping in there. She's supposed to be upstairs sleeping. She's not feeling well. Um, this tank ju just hit one year, September. September like 15th or something like that was one year. And everything was doing well. And then I decided to take a break and ripped a bunch of coral out. And then you guys convinced me that, you know what? You should do it for therapy. And so I stuck with it. I'm still doing it lazy wise. I'm not doing water change. I haven't done a water change in, I think I've done a 10 gallon water change. Oh, I recently did one Saturday, but before that was probably like two and a half months maybe. And I'm just, you know, I'm actually able to like lay down on the couch and just chill and not do nothing. Um, today I was like cleaning out the attic, doing a bunch of stuff there. I went to the store and got Billy a bunch of trucks. Got him some garbage trucks and some monster trucks. He's into monster trucks now. But Olivia says he's going to be a doctor or a surgeon. And I said, no, he's going to be a plumber. Just get that through your skull. The sooner you realize he's going to be a plumber, Olivia, the better. <laughs> That's just how it is. <laughs> Every, all the, I haven't dipped anything recently. I haven't taken anything out to dip it, but I mean, before any coral goes into my tank, I don't care what the coral is, it's getting dipped in Bayer and then either Revive or Melifix. I've been using Melifix with all the softies that I get now. And let me tell you, Melifix and soft coral. So sometimes when you dip zoanthids or softies, they may take a few days to open, but um, I've been using the Melofix and they open immediately. I mean, immediately after that. Look at this, look at this hermit crab just gnawing on something. I don't know what he's eating, but he's eating something. Here's that Aussie gold that I won. Whew. That was a surprise. Oh. You guys remember right at that white spot right there. You guys remember? Um, that was where the Murphy's Aquatics Indo Gold was. You guys can ask Murphy where that went. I'm not telling you guys. <laughs> Did somebody say something about salt? Let me scroll here. No, I'm not using Brightwell and Fritz. Been, this tank, this tank is set up with only Fritz. This was a dry system. Fritz, since day one, no issues. I did recently get a batch that I thought was high in uh, alkalinity, but it was because my salinity was high. So um, I'm just going to do smaller water changes because I'm actually keeping my salinity up there a little bit. It's almost at 1027. Somebody uh, was talking to me one day and they were saying something about, hey, you know, your corals get used to everything you do. So some people keep their salinity at 1027, 1028, which is sounds crazy, right? But they, it just gives the tank, you know, a, a more concentrated, uh, whatever, whatever's in the salt, it gives it more, right? You would think, right? So I'm at like 1027 with my tank, 1026, 1027, usually the Hannah checker jumps back and forth. And since I've been keeping the Hannah checker at 1026 and higher, I guess, everything is legit. Uh, everything's doing fine. Duncans in this tank have never survived. So we'll see how this one turns out. This one is a new one. Oh, I see Murphy just put out his, the, the, the frag that he sold. Yep. Proud of that guy. 
proud of that guy. My alkalinity is, so I've kept it everywhere from seven to eight and a half. And they've been happy anywhere between there. I would, I like to say a mixed reef, right? My advice on a mixed reef um, or my opinion on a mixed reef is anywhere between seven and nine should be just fine for anything you put in your tank. You, there's some guys that keep their elk at 10 or 11 and their coral looks phenomenal. It's just whatever you put in your tank, the coral takes a little bit of time. And once it gets used to it, if it survives from that acclimation period, you're good, right? I mean, I've always kept mine between seven and nine, mainly because that's what LFS is keeping their, at, their, their salinity at. So it's an easier transition for coral, right? If, you know, if somebody's using, or somebody's at eight, eight, five, you know, then you're good either way. But your coral will get used to it. You got to remember these things were like probably the first thing on the planet. Survived through everything. So. Yeah, I saw that about, oh, about higher salinity. When did they do that? I didn't see that they were talking about higher salinity. Inverts in, in this tank. My tank's got ton of tons of inverts. I have Nasarius snails, tiger conches, blue legs, all different types of snails. I actually got to get a bunch more of snails. I'm, the uh, hermits are getting pretty beefy. Yeah, but the tank is doing okay. The six fish are acting shy. Let me see, what time is it? Let me see what the tank looks like with a different gel filter, hold on. Let's see. So I'm going to take this one off. And it's about the same, but now I can't see your guys' chats, so I'll go back to the other one. So, yeah. I don't know. You guys think I should stream more often? I mean, I'm cool with just putting the camera here and letting you guys chat. I don't have to do anything special or, you know, talk about anything in specific. If I were to go live more often, I would really just let it be for you guys to chat. You know, set the camera up on a tripod and that's it. Hang out in the chats and have fun. Mayans, Olivia watches that. But. Yeah, I know, I need more, I know a lot of people are missing the streams. I just never really did them for one. I'm not, you know, savvy with technology. So the hangouts that I used to do, I used to have to have Pat and Dave walk me through it, and half the time I would get very upset while doing it because I didn't know what I was doing. Pat could vouch for me. I used to throw a fit like a little child, but I think if I were to do it this way, I would just set the camera up on a tripod and just chill. You know, I'd go, I'd go kick back on the, uh, I'd go kick back on there and just wouldn't chat with you guys. You know what I mean? Nano Joe, what are you doing, Nano Joe? 
Yeah, there's some little fraggies there. Got those from the snowman. What's up, QSA Fall Rising? Yo, you gonna go live, bro? You gonna go live after me? Everybody go click on QSA Fall Rising. Go click on his icon real quick. Hit the subscribe button real quick. And then when I'm done, unless somebody else wants to call it, because I'm about to jump off here and take a break. So if anybody else wants to just go live like this and just random, so I can jump in their chats and type away and hang out, do it. If you're going to do it, call it. Call dibs right now. Call dibs. I remember the last time uh, Nano Joe went live. <laughs> that was a fun one. That was a fun one. But yeah, I'm going to be. Where's Carlos? Carlos, where you at, bro? Speak to me, Carlos. You know, and if anybody is going to aquatic experience weekend and they're going because they're a saltwater only person, um, if you go there and you're like, uh, you know, oh, Carlos, hold on, I'm going to show you something. If you go to aquatic experience this weekend and you only do saltwater, um, you're probably going to be like bored after the first hour. So if you're bored after the first hour, go to Reefco. It's like less than 40 minutes. Carlos, how far is Reefco from the Meadowland Convention Center? Because if you're looking to go to a swap this weekend and you go there and you're not happy with what you see, just go to Reefco. Just go there. Yo, what up, Sandy? Just go to Reefco. Oh, Carlos, here. See, I had to give this, this whole rock room because this sucker gets so big. This is that... Pink tip torch, purple sweepers, green mouth. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to take this A can, probably move it over here, or maybe even right there. I don't know yet. I don't know. But anyway, I want to have some frog spawns right here, put a little hammer in the back, and then, um, I don't know. Look at this damn hermit crab on my toes. Why do they do that? But I want to get some froggies in here. Right here, like I used to have, and some, and some hammer time. So um, we might have to meet up in the near future. I mean, I could definitely give you this. I wouldn't cut no frog spawn yet for me, just in case, because you know me, I'd be picky. But I do want a a piece of that because that thing was awesome. I'm gonna get my uh, hold on a second here because I see like four crabs on coral. And I'm a big snail flipper. I don't like when snails fall over. So I have this little pointer stick here and I like to save their lives. And then we're gonna go over here and beat this guy off. Get off of there. Any other problem going on in here? No. Nope. But yeah, dude, Philly Splash, man. Philly Splash was definitely um does Fucano's all work against turf algae? No. I had turf algae in this tank. Okay. I had the weirdest turf algae. And I used the old school um, fluconazole. Not the reflux. The real stuff. The fluconazole. And I nailed this tank with like a double dose. And let it go for like almost a month. And it didn't even, it didn't even affect that turf algae. You guys might have better luck than I did. But I don't know. What I ended up doing is um, just staying on top of my cleanup crew and toothbrushing it off, and, and I haven't seen it since. Reefing with O is on YouTube. What? Reefing with O is on YouTube. It is a special, special time right now. Special moment. 
I was actually thinking about, um, I have an idea. So let's see, there's 74 people in here and I'm gonna let you guys decide. I would like to go live randomly when I have time like this, you know, when I have the, the downstairs to myself. Um, I would like to go live and just set the camera up just like this, right? Right here on the tripod, let it sit and just let you guys hang out. Um, McCallum's Reef, I am so waiting. I'm telling you, bro, you just tell me how much for a custom, for a custom blade, man, custom. Something that I can throw into a tree or open a box, either way. But uh, uh, I was thinking about going live randomly and showing the tank or maybe like showing, um, you know, showing the computer screen and like pick one of Dave's old videos and just we all watch it together. I, I was really thinking about doing that. Um, I would like to do that, but... I don't know how you guys would feel about something like that. You know, watching one of his videos, we'll kind of like go into the drive-in together. We all just sit down and watch, you know, one or two of Dave's videos. And, you know, I don't know. I kind of, I still watch all those videos. If you guys ever watch his videos and you look in the comments, you might see me leave a comment with the date and a little emoji with sunglasses on. That's just me telling myself that I watched this video again and you know that's that so yeah I miss Dave man damn it time for bed nail joke dude you're like 23 years old Your bedtime should be like 4 a.m. why isn't this focusing Hold on. All right. Maybe I touched the lens, I don't know. But, oh yeah, Rob, I tell you what, man. I watched his videos, even if I watched it already, like a long time ago, sometimes I realized I forgot to comment or something. Because usually I'll watch a video and just call him. And I forget to comment, so I'll make sure I leave a comment. And I don't know if it's weird. I don't know if it's weird. Um, you know, when you go to the comment section of any video, right at the very top where it, it leaves a line for you guys to leave a comment to the right there's lines you got to tap on it and hit newest first because if you because if you hit newest first it'll show you every single comment and uh i don't know if it's weird i don't know if it's weird that i do this but if i'm watching one of his videos and i see somebody has recently asked a question um i answer it I don't know if that's weird or if I shouldn't do that or if I should do that. I don't know. I feel, I don't know, but I, you know, if somebody's on his channel and they're asking questions about something, I've, I know Dave's systems pretty well and him. And I, I feel like I would have the same answer that he would have about whatever the video is about. So if I do know the answer, I would, you know, comment back to that person. I don't know. Anyway, yep. I got some of his stuff in here. I tried to spread it out as best as I can too. I got Dave's Gorgonia. I got the Ore Green. I got the GSP now. I got this mushroom which is one of my favorite mushrooms in the whole entire tank. It's one of my favorite corals in the whole entire tank. So. Thanks, Gabe. Yeah, that's why I was, that's why I was commenting. I just, you know, I like to see that he's still monetized, you know, which, which is good. I believe um, it's going to his son, any type of, you know, income or whatever, so. Yeah, it's all good. But I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm not sure how long I've been streaming for. Let's see here. Wow, 35 minutes. I told Pat, yo, I'm gonna, Rainbow's live and kicking all, yep, hell yeah. Pat, next time I see you, I want a frag of that. And whoever else.
house wants a frag of it. But um, I told Pat I was going to go live for like 15 minutes just to do a quick update on the 75 with the 6 Chroma still. And um, here it is, you know. Looks like there's no fish in there. There's six fish in there. We just counted them. But um, I saw somebody. Oh, how do you go without water changes? I don't know if you're talking to me or anybody else, but so I used to do crazy water changes on this tank way too much way too much like I would do like 25 gallons a week on it which was why my tank was always so damn clean because I was just taking way too much out of the tank well not letting it get dirty um so then I when I started to have the issues with my feet and my back I uh started to do less water changes and I saw no no rise in my phosphates or nitrates and i i think it's because i started dosing the mike's live phyto and um you know i had a good amount of fish in there i had six chromis two tangs three pajama cardinals and one bengai cardinal and there was plenty of fish in there i was i was giving them two to three cubes a day not rinsing the food and um you know the tank was just always it was just staying clean so i don't know I'm not doing very many water changes now. So, somebody just said, see the sump? Let's take a look at the sump. I did add, I did recently add some marine pure spheres. Gave me a little bit of diatoms on the sand bed. I did add a couple of new things down here, I think. So the last time you guys, the skimmer was over here. It was kind of a pain in the ass to, to get to my sump sock. And I remember my, my last sump, the skimmer, was in the middle as well, because um, I don't run a refugium, so don't really, doesn't matter where the skimmer is. Um, so, put it in the middle, you can see that I have added a bunch of marine pure spheres. The whiter ones, obviously, are the new ones. The sponges are slowly dying, I guess you could say, I don't know. Um, you guys do know that I run the little paracords well every time I would wash these in hot water hold on let me get a uh, closer view here Ugh. every time I would wash the sump socks in hot water sometimes the zip ties would break so I found these little plastic keychains so now I don't have to wash the string anymore I just unhook my sump sock and put the new one back on so now I only have to use this one so that makes it easier um, I don't know, maybe a week ago, I came down outside to let the dog out, and, um, yeah, new, new more, added some more balls. Um, I just, I don't know, I just wanted to fill up, like, a whole section with Marine Pure. These things are awesome, I don't know. I, you know, they're beneficial, whatever, you know, it's not like I see my sump teeming with pods. Um, I just, you know, I'm using the... Carib sea arches and they're not very porous at all there there's really no holes for stuff to go in and grow in so that's why i figured i would just do a ton of these um so anyway this was overflowing like crazy for no reason one day and i was down here for two hours from 4 a.m to 6 a.m i had to clean everything because it was spitting out the top and just making an absolute mess i don't know why it went nuts but it went nuts so i recently added that little device there on the side uh, I think it was like 50 bucks for that. You just put it on the side there. There's a little thing inside there, a prism inside, and once water hits it. Now, if there's bubbles, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It's actually got to be water. And um, once water hits that, there's a five-minute delay. That's the only weird part. There's a five-minute delay, and then it shuts the skimmer off. But if this thing's going to go crazy and overflow and go bonkers for five minutes I figured that's a lot better than if I'm at work and it's going bonkers for five hours so definitely I, I I made a video on that I just I have a ton of videos actually made already and some of them are, one of them's a fish update which I'm not going to post now but um you will see some videos with all the fish in it so yeah but anyway some's doing good I actually got to clean 
this out. I have been bubble scrubbing again. I have it set up like that. I have it set up on my uh, little timer. So, you know, buy a skimmer with auto shut off. Eh, I was looking into it, but I already have a skimmer. You know, and I did a video on, hey, if it works, you know, good. And, you know, I don't know why the skimmer went nuts. It might have been because I changed my sump sock and my pinky filter at the same time. I don't know. Sometimes they do that. But either way, I don't have to worry about it anymore. That thing's on there. Problem solved. So. Um, I'm going to show you guys something real quick. And then I think I'm going to end it because I'm going to take a break. Bear with me. I'm going to show you guys. One of my favorite mushrooms right there. But Carlos, let me know if that, that piques interest of you. Yes, sir, Camaro Kid. Anytime, brother. Anytime for you. <laughs> you had me singing, bro. What's up with that? Yeah, Elise. Anytime, girl. That's it. I'm going to call it a night. And uh, sign out. So I will talk to you guys later. I'll give you guys about another 30 seconds if anybody is going to go live when I'm done and we're going to run the party over there, put it in the chats right now, say I'm going live, aka Pat Murphy, go live, so, or Gabe's man, Gabe's Reef Tampa, I want to see you do a live stream bro. Yeah, he's got a nice little tank you guys would want to see. Make sure, you know, if you guys are big fans of YouTube and you like watching random videos, hit everybody's icon, go check out their channel. No, no, you're welcome. Damn it, Pat. Damn, Pat. Well, thank you, Pat. But um, I guess I'll leave the stream up. Yeah, why not, right? I don't know. Why not? I'll leave it up. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let it run, see what happens. I am going to post a video tomorrow, though. So it's a video on all the soft coral in my tank. I did the LPS, the SPS. So I want to get the softy one out there. I have another video on that skimmer security thing down there. Um, I have another video on a event coming up. I think I have like four videos ready to roll. So, all right, I'm going to sign out. Thank you guys for stopping by. Um, I'm going to do this again soon. I will do this again soon, and I'll just be letting the camera sit up here, probably not talking much and just chatting with you guys. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you guys, and I will see you guys on the next one.